Okay, evaluation of alternatives, step three. So after you've collected your information and you've compiled your evoked set of the various alternative products that you're considering, the consumer is then ready to make a decision. As you can see there, she's, um, she's considering the one or the other. She's not sure yet. Consumers will use information stored in the memory usually and obtained from outside sources to develop a set of decision-making criteria. What are the criteria that she's going to use? The criteria or the yeah, information, the variables, will help the consumer to evaluate and compare the different alternatives. Okay, so there are three different ways to narrow one's choices. For example, if you had to buy a new cell phone. The first one is to pick an attribute. So you what you do is here, you pick one attribute that you really like, like maybe it has to have a big screen. And then you'll exclude all the others that don't have it. So all the cell phones with a small screen you won't even look at. Or here's an example, you're only going to look at smartphones. Okay, then there's one called the cutoffs, minimum and maximum price. So you'll say, oh, my budget is only 199 Rand per month for a cell phone. Anything over that I can't afford. So I'm only going to look at phones that are 199 Rand a month or lower. And then lastly, we have something called rank attributes. That one, you'll look at different categories or different criteria and you'll rank them. So maybe you'll look at um, camera must be at the top. I, I, must, I want a phone that has the best camera. So I'm going to give that one number one. Then I'm looking for, for a, a cell phone with a good speed. And then lastly, it must be durable. And then you'll rank all the different phones. You'll like say this one is like a 3 for camera and a 1 for durability and a 5 for speed. And then you'll look at all the different others. And others might be a 2 for camera and a 5 for speed. And then you'll compare you know, the different attributes until you find one that most resembles what you want. So the objective of the marketing manager is to determine which attributes are most important to consumers and what influences their consumer choice. In other words, they want to make sure that they are top when it comes to the attributes that consumers consider when making a purchase. And there's an example of um, a computer. So this is a research that was done and determines what, which attributes are most important. So as you can see, there's 69%. It's got to do with data integration and, and certain capabilities. Um, it's actually probably connected to a website. This. Then next is uh, extens ex inexpensive storage. Oh, sorry, the highest is performance, 71%. High performance and inexpensive processing power. And then only 31% for high velocity data streaming. So you want to make sure that marketing manager of this website or you know wants to make sure that they're very high when it comes to the 71% so that they will meet consumers um, attribute requirements. So different but also different features are diff are important to different consumers. So it's not always the same it depends on the consumers. So it's very important for marketing managers to understand what's important to all the different consumers. So like what's important with cell phones when it comes to young people like teenagers, what's important to older people, what's important to grandparents, what's important to business people so that they can create a product for each of those you know, segments in the market. And this is very important. It's not about what attributes are important to you as the marketer. It's about what's important to the consumers. Then we've got step four. And step four is very quick. After a consumer has evaluated all the different alternatives, they will decide to either buy a product that they want, like this man has just bought this car, or they might decide not to buy at all, like they can't find any product that suits their needs, so they're just not going to buy. 
there's no deal that they can find for them. If they decide to make the purchase, the next step in the process is an evaluation of the product after the purchase.